This is exercise 3.1 question number 1. Aftaf tells his daughter 7 years ago I was 7 times as old as you were then. Also 3 years from now I shall be 3 times as old as you will be. Isn't this interesting? Represent this situation algebraically and graphically. See we don't know the age of Aftaf and his daughter. So let us consider their ages be x and y. So here I write down let their present ages. So here I write down aftab which is equal to x years and his daughter daughter is equal to y years. So these are the present ages. Now 7 years ago. So I will write down here 7 years ago here Aftab's age was x minus 7 years and his daughter's age y minus 7 years. Okay. Now after 3 years. So here I will write, write down after 3 years. His age will become x plus 3 and her age will become y plus 3. So this basic information we have written here. Now according to the condition, what is the first condition there? Let me write here. According to the condition. Now condition is this. Before 7 years. What happened? Aftab's age was seven times that of his daughter's age. So this is the Aftab's age here. X minus seven. So I'll write down X minus seven, which is equal to seven times that of his daughter's age. So this is his daughter's age. Seven years before. Correct. Now I'll write X minus seven, which is equal to seven Y minus forty nine. See, here x which is equal to this minus 7, I will send that side. Okay, so it will become plus 7. So here 7y minus 49 and plus 7, it will become minus 42. I got the first equation here. Now, in the second condition, what they said, after 3 years, his age, so his age is x plus 3, will become 3 times that of his daughter's age. Right? See, this is the age of Aftab and this one is his daughter's age after 3 years. Okay. And it became 3 times. So, here I will write x which is equal to 3y plus 9 and this 3 which is here, it will go that side and get subtracted. So, x which is equal to 3y plus 6. I got two equations here. That means I have shown the situation algebraically. Right? In the form of equations. Now I want to show this situation graphically. To draw the graphs, I need three points. Actually with two points, we can draw the line. No problem. But for only the confirmation, we will take three points and then we will draw the graph. Let us see how to take those three points now. Here. First one I will take y which is equal to 6. We can take any value but only what we have to think those whatever the values we are taking those values should fit on the graph paper. Take the smaller values not the bigger one. Okay. Here y which is equal to 6. So my x which is equal to 7 into 6 minus 42 which comes as minus uh, 42 minus 42. I get answer 0 here. So my first solution is or you can say first point is 0 comma 6. Okay. Now we will go for the second point. Second point here. I will write. I will take y which is equal to 5. So let us see what value of x we get here. So here x which is equal to 7 into 5 minus 42. So this is 35 minus 42. So, here our answer comes as minus 
सेवन सो सेकेंड पॉइंट वी गॉट माइनस सेवन कॉमा फाइव करेक्ट विल गो फॉर द थर्ड वन नाउ नाउ हि थर्ड वन वाई विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन सो एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू सेवन इन टू सेवन माइनस दिस फोर्टी टू सो दिस वन इज फोर्टी नाइन माइनस फोर्टी टू सो वी गॉट आंसर सेवन हि सो द थर्ड पॉइंट इज सेवन कॉमा सेवन सो वी गॉट थ्री पॉइंट फॉर द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन लेट सी दी सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ हि I will just make the partition like this. Now look at the first point here. First one. Here also I will take y, which is equal to minus two. See the value of x now. X equal to three into minus two plus six. So here minus six plus six. Answer is zero. So the first point is zero comma minus two. Come to the second point now. Here y, which is equal to Suppose I take zero. Now this one x, which is equal to three into zero plus six. So here only six value of x, correct? So the second point I got six comma zero. I will go for the third point now. Now see the third point here. Y, which is equal to Suppose minus one, so x, which is equal to three into minus one plus six, so it is minus three plus six. See our answer now. Here x, which is equal to three, and our point became three comma minus one. So we got see. In short, we can see all these three points here. Right, this one is the first point, second point, third point. Here also first point, second point, third point. We have found three uh, solutions, or you can say three points, and we are going to draw them on the graph. Let us see now. See all those points I have shown in the form of table for our convenience. Correct. Now we'll plot these points. Let us see the first one, zero comma six. This one. So this point lies on the y-axis. So here the first point is this one, zero comma six. Second is minus seven comma five. Minus seven on the x-axis, five on the y-axis. So the point comes at this place here. Okay, at this place. Now second one is seven comma seven. Okay, seven on the x-axis, seven on the y-axis. So this point will come at this place. Okay, this one, and then we'll draw the line. See here, it's not coming properly. It should come properly. It should go through all the three points. See, we got it now. As we complete this line, write down the equation on this line. So this one is x, which is equal to seven y minus forty two. This is the graph for this equation. Let us go towards the second equation. Look at the first point zero comma minus two. That means point is on the y axis at this place, right? Second one six comma zero. Point is on the x axis here. At this place, and third point is three comma minus one. Three on the x-axis, minus one on the y-axis. At this place, correct. Now we'll draw the line which passes through these three points. It should come properly. Wait a minute. See now. Yes, this is the required line. And on this line, we'll write down the equation: x, which is equal to three y plus six, right? So after doing this one, we'll write down the scale at the right top corner of the graph paper. As the space is not there, I'll write down the scale at this place for your information. Okay? So here, 
scale for x axis see now how to write down the scale just to take any two consecutive numbers suppose i am taking these two consecutive numbers here and make the subtraction uh, of the bigger number and smaller number so 2 minus 1 is what 1 so scale is 1 division which is equal to 1 unit okay now same thing i will do on the y axis take any two consecutive numbers and do the subtraction of the bigger number and the smaller number it also comes as 1 only so for here y axis y axis 1 division is equal to 1 division is equal to 1 unit so this way you will write down the scale on the x axis and scale on the y axis correct i hope all of you understood this sum thank you